Good morning. My name is Mr. William, and I'm here for story time for the kids. And I hope you enjoyed this book. This book is called If You Give a Moose a Muffin. And I'm pretty sure that if you do give a moose a muffin, I'm pretty sure they would definitely love it. But I wouldn't try this at home. If you give a moose a muffin. If you give a moose a muffin. Now, as we know, moose, mooses are some very, very big animals with some very large antlers. I don't think I would walk up on one, but it would be nice to see one. He'll want some jam to go with it. So you will bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. I don't know if I would have a moose in the kitchen. I don't think that would work out, but it'll be okay. When he is finished eating the muffin, he'll want another one and another one. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. Now, I don't know if we can make a big enough sweater for that moose, but I'm pretty sure he's going to stay pretty warm because he has a lot of fur. When he puts the sweater on, He'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll start sewing. The button will remain, remind him of the puppets his grandfather used to make. Now, isn't that kind of silly right there? You see a moose sewing. So he'll ask for some old socks. And he'll make socks. Puppets. When they're all done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. And I'm pretty sure all the kiddies would love to see a puppet show. I know I would. I love all types of shows. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenario, the scenery. As you can see, they're making the scenery, bunch of paint, a little bit of music, and the moose does have a sweater on. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boom. It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paint. <laughs> yeah, he knocked over the paint, guys. I think that's going to be a pretty big mess to clean up. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheets up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. You guys thinking what I'm thinking is going to happen next? Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some more.
And chances are, if you if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. I think this is a pretty good story. And they had a lot of fun. Kids, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy.